Yo, what's going on YouTube? D Boy the Great is coming at y'all man with another video to the channel. And I have to say thank you to everybody that supports me for reaching 150 subscribers to the channel. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you to the bottom of my heart. I promise you. Jackie. So look, today we're going to be dis discussing Mortal Kombat 11. And I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of me playing with Jackie Briggs in the uh, regular tr traditional towers. Now, if you guys are ready to see some gameplay and discuss some topics, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And shout out to all the new subscribers. I love you guys. Now, let's go on and talk about something very important. Mortal Kombat 11 has been a huge topic this year. We were supposed to get, or we thought we were going to get some type of information, some type of trailer uh, showing off the Mortal Kombat new game that they're supposed to be working on at E3 or even before E3. We thought we were going to get something. Now, Mortal Kombat X is not a bad game. Like, just look how great this game looks. This is a huge improvement from Mortal Kombat 9. And I feel like the NetherRealm Studios has learned a lot from Injustice 2 as far as shading and graphics and how things work, mechanics and everything like that. So I feel like they are probably are working on a, a new Mortal Kombat game. But who goes, who, who knows if it's even Mortal Kombat 11? So how can they even top this game? Like, the story was good. The overall game is great. But, how they can make this game, the Mortal Kombat game, even better is having a better story mode. Now, we've uh, been introduced to like these interactive story modes lately with NetherRealm Studios as far as the first Injustice and this game and Injustice 2, you have like certain button commands you have to do during a story mode, like cutscene and stuff like that, which is a great touch. It's a great touch to the story mode. But what if they took it up a notch? What if the story mode was almost like a Shaolin Monks game? Um, I don't know if you old school gamers out there or you new school out there even know what Shaolin Monks is, but that game came out in the Xbox era, okay? PlayStation 2 era. Shaolin Monks was a huge successful game for its time. Now, just the thought of Shaolin Monks in HD, that type of game, would sell so many copies off the shelf. I mean, come on, guys. I don't know. I, I don't know if you guys played Shaolin Monks before, but Shaolin Monks is a great game. So just imagine you have to uh, do a story mode quest, but it's a Shaolin Monks type of style game. Like maybe that's the reason why they are taking so long on showing us any type of information on Mortal Kombat 11 because they probably are trying something different. I hope to God that there's some type of Shaolin Monks type of gameplay in the new Mortal Kombat game and that game was you could play either by yourself or with another friend so a two player possibly a co-op story mode would be dope would be so dope like I know they have to think about something like this and wouldn't it be awesome to also have um, 2v2 comeback from Mortal Kombat 9, like, it's certain different things they have in games, in different games that they can bring back that will make the fans happy, like two versus two battle mode, or you can either have two people on one team and versus two other people, and you guys can tag in and out, will make the game, will make the game so much fun again. And, uh, of course, we should be able to do this online so I can have my friend with me. We go in online and we'll find some people we can beat up. That would be awesome. The possibilities 
endless possibilities and matchups with that would be great. Would be great. Also, the mini games was not that important for a lot of players, but I feel like that can bring the party aspect of Mortal Kombat. Because Mortal Kombat is a little brutal. You know, it's really not for children, okay? But just to get the like child aspect and the child audience there, they can put different type of mini games back into Mortal Kombat 11. Um, there was there were many there were many games where you can play like Mortal Kombat Kart, or it's just all type of different things they can bring up. They can they can bring in like Mario Party games into Mortal Kombat if they wanted to. Okay, and another another thing that they can try to top from making this game is the roster size. This game it had a great ro roster, but as far as like the character picks, like Leatherface is cool. But I'm really almost tired of seeing all these movie reference characters in Mortal Kombat. They can have so much more, like, they could go the whole comic book route instead of movie route. I mean, I don't know. This, this is just my opinion, guys, um, honestly. But yes, the roster size needs to be a lot bigger than this one. And to do so... I think they need to get rid of the whole um, three variations idea with the characters. I mean, it's it's a it's a great touch to the game that you know one character can play three different styles. I mean, they've always had that type of uh, gimmick to their games where you can change your fighting style. It's a great touch to me. It's a great touch, but honestly. The fans, we really don't need that. We don't need it. We just need to have that one character that's great. I mean, just look at Mortal Kombat 9. There's nothing wrong with Mortal Kombat 9 besides just like how the game looks, okay? Like, to this day, they still have Mortal Kombat 9 tournaments. Um, I just I just seen like a huge tournament. I forgot where what it was called. Maybe CEO or something like that. I don't I don't know. Shout out to that boy Sonic Fox. Uh, he's probably still one of my top uh, like pro Mortal Kombat players. He um he's a he's a young guy. I don't know if you guys. I mean I'm pretty sure you guys heard about Sonic Fox. If you haven't, look him up. He's great. <laughs> He's great at Mortal Kombat and anything Nether Realm makes. He's awesome. So, um, Mortal Kombat X, this game right here, the story mode, um, like the like the actual story of the game, where you know we got the legendary uh, Mortal Kombat cast. They have children now, or some type of younger sibling in the game. It's a great touch. It, it just goes to show you how long this game series has been around, you know, for Mortal Kombat fans. Okay, so now let's get back on the topic of Mortal Kombat 11. Now, every time they come out with a new Mortal Kombat game, it's always some type of new mechanic about it. Okay, um, so my idea they can come up with is. Like maybe, uh, maybe like they can have like a normal and a simple playstyle for people. I'm not sure because I think you you should be able to choose if you want to walk backwards to block or use a trigger to block. I know that's making a stretch. That's making a huge stretch. But honestly, um. Mortal, Mortal Kombat games, you can you should be able to customize how you want to play. You shouldn't be uh, limited down to just like one certain aspect of the game where you want it to be a certain way. Like seriously, if you if you guys thought about something like that, like be able to block walking backwards or blocking using the trigger. I don't know. I feel like I feel like that that, that would that would you know help a, a couple of fans out there. 
to me it really doesn't matter okay like I can I, I can I can I can swing both okay but yeah so but before I get off topic here um I do want to talk about the whole three variation thing um I did like it to where you know you can change your variation to have a weapon or a different fighting style that was great that was cool but I feel like that takes up so much of a character if they got rid of that they can actually probably bring more characters to the game now I know if they did bring like um let's say let's say they brought everybody back it's not gonna just be a palette swap for um, Sub-Zero and Scorpion, okay? It's not gonna just be that. Their, their suits are gonna look different from one another. They're gonna look distinct, okay? Your final test, Jackie. Um, Didn't think it would be you. I feel like That's they could surprise. bring back Round every one. character Fight. and the game would be great, but I don't think they don't, they don't have to do that per se because there's certain characters in this game that I know is probably not going to come back. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea, honestly. I mean, it would be great to see everybody come back from this game, but I feel like they're not. Only because, like, this game is, is like this game. But I feel like Mortal Kombat 11 might be based on, like, the whole future aspect, like, what happened after this point. Or they can go back before. I don't know, man. I don't know. I need to um, check up on like the Mortal Kombat comic book. I I do remember they came out with a comic book before the game actually came out. So like people were making predictions on who was going to be in Mortal Kombat X this off the comic book. So whenever they do release a new comic of Mortal Kombat, talking about like the new anything new in Mortal Kombat, I'm going to check it out just to see where the story is going to take place. Um, now, as far as like the um, like super bad guy at the end of the uh, game, everybody thought like Luke Kane was going to be uh, like the final boss for this game. Honestly, honestly, I really don't want to see Luke Kane like a dark Luke Kane, like or like an evil Raiden, or any, anything like that. I actually want to see a brand new, like super boss. That will make the game so much cooler, man. Because we've had uh, Shao Kahn, and, um, Shinnok, Goro, like all these legendary Mortal Kombat bosses. But I feel like they can bring something new to the table and have it do something totally different from any other uh, any other boss or or honestly if they brought back Shang Tsung if they brought back Shang Tsung to be like the super boss I wouldn't be mad at it because he was very unique to me because he could change in to any character from Mortal Kombat game like round two but just this this make it to where we don't lose our damn minds when we finally get to him, okay? Because he was he was pretty damn hard in Mortal Kombat 9. I do remember that. I do remember Mortal Kombat 9. Shang Tsung was an asshole. <laughs> like he used to go so crazy with it, man. So crazy with it. Now do you guys honestly think this game is going to be called Mortal Kombat 11? Or do they do what some uh, developer team do? Just call it Mortal Kombat. Or, or they could do what they've done before and actually give it a title name. Because, you know, there's Mortal Kombat Annihilation. There's Mortal Kombat uh, Armageddon. You know, there's Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. You know, there's so many different names they can come out with for Mortal Kombat 11. But you know what? I did hear my homie Maximilian, Max 
dude, you know, the the dude guy, <laughs> that's really good at fighting games. But I did hear him say that they're supposed to be working on. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if it's facts, but he talked about it. So if he talked about it, it's got to be somewhat true. But they're working on a Mortal Kombat movie, like a big time movie. It's been a very long time since we had a Mortal Kombat movie, but usually the game, like some type of new game comes out, then the movie comes out. So maybe they'll do, do the comic book game, the movie, because I really don't see the whole point of them having a movie come out and then the game. Like, this ain't, this ain't a 2000, 2005 where a superhero movie came out, then a, a game cam comes out with no I, I don't I don't think Netherrealm is gonna go that route. Maybe they maybe they release a game and a movie simultaneously. Like that would be pretty cool. Like that would that would kinda be dope, but it's like isn't that what the story mode is supposed to be about? Like isn't the story mode supposed to be so epic in a game that it almost feels somewhat like a movie <clears throat> it's, it's, that's very interesting to be honest another day, another but don't get me wrong do not get me wrong I definitely want to see a Mortal Kombat movie okay because even the older ones are still good to me to this day to this day and the whole like effects and stuff they can do nowadays I'm pretty sure the new Mortal Kombat movie will be so dope I'll, I'll be in there day one to go see that. I mean, shit. They even brought back the Power Rangers in that movie. It was alright. Anyways, let's get back on topic here. Um, if they do go with a title, they probably are going to just call it Mortal Kombat 11. I don't know. Ed, Ed Boon is a super troll, man. He's, he's almost as bad as Sakurai when it comes to trolling. But that's what the greatest developers do they troll us to get us excited okay just look at the pro the promo for Mortal Kombat 10 Mortal Kombat X they had Wiz Khalifa do the soundtrack okay honestly if they do that type of idea again I wouldn't even want to have no other rapper do it if I mean if they had Lil Wayne do a Mortal Kombat uh, trailer track that would be even cooler. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, I, I watched that video so many times of Wiz and uh, doing a whole rap song while Sub-Zero and Scorpion was fighting. Like, man, I was like, I knew this game was going to be epic. But um, we really don't need that. We just want to see who's going to be in the game, how big the roster is going to be, and what is the story mode going so let's go ahead and do a recap guys so my idea is first a better story mode the story mode could have a Shaolin monks type of aspect about it where you go beat up the like like you beat up the little minions from the boss and then once you reach the boss there's a cutscene the cutscene goes directly into the 1v1 fight now, I know what you're thinking about when I said uh, a co-op story mode. You know how there's uh, round one and round two? So, let's say your opponent beats you and it's round two. Then your opponent has to beat him. If your opponent doesn't beat him, I mean, not your opponent. If your buddy, your co-op buddy doesn't beat him, then that means you guys lose. That's how you can do the whole co-op aspect of a story mode co-op. Okay? But yes, Mortal. so we got the story mode, Shallow Monk's aspect, you know two player co op. You will die. Bring back 2v2 tag system. Uh, 2v2, you can tag in and out, or uh, four players playing with each other. One team has two players, the other team has two players. That would be dope. We need a huge roster. I'm talking about a mega ton of rosters. Like, Bring back old characters. Give us some new characters. The, the third party representation in the new Mortal Kombat game 
has to be off the chain. Round two. Like every single character they announce as far as third party has to freaking blow our socks off. I'm talking about I'm talking about this so so crazy that people lose their minds like it breaks the internet like them bringing the Ninja Turtles to Injustice 2 goes to show you that they are being creative about who is going to be in the game. So, and uh, another thing, no variations, just everybody have one. That would be cool to me. That would be cool to say. Uh, some type of new mechanics about the game. We need that. Um, maybe uh, if, if we go with new mechanics, let's say like um, we have a, like an X-ray times two or like a like an X-ray and a super or something like that, like a um, like a super finisher. Maybe maybe we have like a super finisher that goes off into a fatality because like the brutalities on here is somewhat of a fatality because the brutalities back in the day used to get beat up almost like an ultra combo from Killer Instinct. Then they you know announced it was a brutality. So. Maybe they should bring that back where you get hit so many times that is eventually be a brutality. But maybe, you know, as far as new mechanics, the x-ray can go off into a fatality or bring back the like crazy brutalities, the babality, all oh, man. The Mortal Kombat fans need that. We want that, okay? Ed Boon, Netherrealm Studios. If you're Go watching my become, video, I'm target of special forces. Take some notes. <laughs> I'm Jackie just joking. Yo, thank you guys so much for activity. watching my video and listening to Jackie me talk your ears off. Okay. Thank you guys so much for 150 subscribers. I promise you, I will continue to give you some great content, some great gameplay. Game it up with me. Check the uh, check the links in the description. I have. All my social media outlets there for you. You can add me on the Xbox. We can game it up. We can chat. We can do whatever. Add me on Mixer. Add me on Instagram. Add me on Twitter. Do all that stuff. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.